Hi everyone, this is Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluators. This video is about the count if formula. So let's say as part of your evaluation, maybe you gave out a satisfaction survey. Maybe you had some type of teacher training program and the teachers from the elementary, middle, and high schools across the county filled out a satisfaction survey at the end of the training. So you wanna see how many people selected the strongly agree, agree, disagree, and strongly disagree options for each one, as well as how many people said the NA option, they did not attend the session. That's when count if is very helpful. So just type in equals count if. You need to select the range and the criteria. So the range is just the data, everybody who answered question one right here in column C. Put in a comma and your criteria means you want to count these options only if they selected the strongly agree response option. You need to put quotation marks around it. Close your parentheses, press enter, and you can see that 32 people selected strongly agree. Let's do the same thing for agree. So equals count if, here's my range, question one, and my criteria is agree. Disagree equals count if, my range, same thing, question one, and the criteria is disagree. Nobody select a disagree for that one. You could do the same thing for strongly disagree. Strongly disagree. We'll do it one more time, see if anybody selected did not attend for question one. I didn't see any, but there might be some. Did not attend. Okay, so one person selected that. And we'll just sum all these up just to make sure we didn't miss anybody. You can see that 45 people answered that question and people almost overwhelmingly selected strongly agree and a few agrees in there. So that's the count if formula. Thank you.